Hey guys, this is Will from Exoneering and today I'm going to talk about our newest product, the GCUH. Our newest gearbox controller brings the features of our sequential transmission modules to any manual transmission car. No lift shifting at wide open throttle via a spark cut allows for smooth, quick, and consistent upshifts. Under braking during downshifts, a throttle blip provides seamless rev matching. The GCUH system will come with the following. The gearbox control unit itself, a two pin coil extension harness, a 20 pin IO harness, the four pin IO cable that includes 12 volts ground, brake and clutch pedal signals, a remote cut active LED, remote mountable arming switch to enable and disable the system functions, an inline coil harness for your spark cut interface, and an inline accelerator pedal harness for your blip interface. Determine the in-cab mounting location in or around the glove box. Specifically on this Miata, the 12 volt switch power comes through the ignition coil harness. In other cases, be prepared to run your switch 12 volts and ground to this location. Install your inline accelerator pedal harness. To make things more clear, I'm using our spare pedal sensor in this example. And route the wire harness to the GCUH. Complete the brake and clutch signal taps and also route those to the GCUH. Now install your inline ignition coil harness. In some OEMs, a universal non-plug and play harness will be supplied. And route the extension harness through the firewall. And feel free to mount your remote cut LED and your arming switch in the most comfortable spot for the driver to see and operate. And before starting the vehicle, make sure all sub harnesses are connected via the 20 pin. This will allow all active signals to pass through the module itself. Throttle blip occurs on brake and clutch presses. First brake, then clutch. Watch shift spark cut occurs during watt and is triggered by clutch press. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.